Okay, so hello everyone. Um, this is a video and hopefully going to turn into a couple more videos um, explaining and depicting and showing off some of the things that I put together for a local practice, like capture the flag uh, competition for my school, the United States Coast Guard Academy's uh, cyber team. We're trying to build out the cyber team here and I don't think there's really anything too sensitive about explaining that because it's just something that we want to do. So I've been trying to put together practice exercises and stuff like that. So this whole CTF platform is something that I built uh, in Flask uh, with Python, or in Python with Flask, however you particularly want to say that. But this is pretty much it. It works on, right now it's just running on a local machine, uh, like where we are, and it uses SSL, so any packets you send back and forth are encrypted, so people can't like sniff to get flags or stuff like that. And you would typically register for an account. And it's stored in like the SQLite database that I typically work with with Flask with the SHA-256 hash. So just for demonstration purposes, I'll create an account. Um, my name is John Hammond, and I'll do a super simple and stupid password just so I can register and log in and, and start to play the competition. So these are all challenges that I cooked up and wrote myself uh, with the some help from a, cu a couple of the encryption and cryptography challenges I asked for a friend of mine on the team to help out with. But a good majority, I think about nine of these are mine. However many there are, I don't honestly know. But um, So I wanted to show off how I created them and how we can solve them and stuff like that, or how they were put together. So um, typically with a capture the flag, there is like a flag format. And I wanted to denote that and kind of show the individual or the user who is very new to CTFs and is very new to cyber type stuff um, how, you, how I was going to display hints throughout my capture the flag platform in this competition. So I use USTGA, never be ashamed of hints. And you could enter a completely wrong flag and it would tell you, oh, you're wrong with, I think, uh, lib notify in JavaScript. And I think I saw the flag was if you hover over some of the text, um, never be ashamed of hints. So I did this from a design design perspective to um, let them know that, okay, some of these things are going to be things they've never seen before, but if you need a little bit more guidance on the challenge, you can hover over it, and hopefully, occasionally, there will be a, uh, a hint. So, okay. Orchestra is one that's super simple. Um, it's actually just a big file that I ended up creating that is full of random bytes, I'll see if I can show in folder. And I'll actually, I'll actually just pull this up. We'll start to look at this stuff. Um, cyber repo. And this was in the challenges. And orchestra was the name of it. So it itself, the file that I ended up creating, was just a massive file of disgusting bytes and stuff that is completely useless. So the challenge itself was to just very simply run strings on it. The hint was, how can we avoid all the data that we can't read? So uh, you would typically just run strings on that file. Ex again, extremely easy. And you could like loop through it, look for it, scroll to find it. And if you were smart, you could know to grep, okay, I want to find USCGA because I know that that is part of the flag format. So the flag would be, there is no orchestra without the strings. So I would get points for that. But the way that I created that challenge was super simple. Um, it's actually, I'll fire up Sublime Text, and I'll try and close everything that I already have open so you don't see it in my garbage. And I'll open up that stuff. Okay. So the get flag script was something that I just did so I know a solution, but I ended up creating this with just a simple Python thing that would really just loop through a bunch of bytes. Again, I decided, okay, I want the file size of the, of the program to be just a thousand or whatever. And then I give it a bunch of possible numbers being the ASCII range from zero to 255. And then I shuffled them randomly and I would just add them to this mess of things that I was like adding to the, to the junk. And then if we were just randomly in the middle, I would put in the flag. And then we'd take that array, join it so it's a string, and I'd write that out to a to a file, in which case it was orchestra. Um, so that's pretty much how I did it. Super simple. 
But again, that's how I cooked that challenge of having a bunch of random strings and it being like use, having to have to use the strings command to be able to actually get the flag. So simple de demonstration. Hopefully, in the next couple tutorials, um, I'll go into more explanations how I saw how I created and how I uh, started some of the other challenges and the solutions and stuff for that. Um, Please let me know if this is something you're interested in, or I should do more of, or I should start to like write out how I created all these things. But I don't think they're too difficult, and I think I could just kind of explain them to you and show off some demonstration stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.